Ladies and gentlemen, Frequency, I present the new Fight Club up in this bitch. Yeah. It's the low. Um, this, this comes from my, one of my mans in the hood. He's locked up yes, and shit right now. But um, the nigga, nigga used to always get drunk, drunk, drunk. We used to always get drunk. And he was one of the niggas that slurred crazy. <laughs> right. So like, say you was far away and he was calling you. Instead of saying like, yo, man. Like, we'd be like, yo, man. And he'd be like, yo, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, fucked up from the alcohol. <laughs> and that just became, the, the, that, I just was like, yeah, that's it. That's it all right there. That's it right there. Yeah, it's it just, it, it, if you were to spell it, it would be Y-A-O-W-A. Like, yawa. Like, yawa. 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 So I'd be like, yawa. Yeah, like, I love my man. That's why I hear do it. You know what I'm saying? Like he'll be like, yeah, but he'll be all drunk and blowing <laughs> off the goose. Yeah, I heard. Royce the cooker was trying to think of Royce sound fucking like a grim. Like, yeah, yeah. Royce attack you. It's just like you're going to Joe Button sound like snarf <laughs> from Thunder Cash. <laughs> 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 name is Daryl Divine, close friend of Joel Ortiz, the man that's gonna blow up the whole hip hop scene. So you people need to know, Joel is the man. Right now. And Cooper Project right now, you know? That's how you keep it real. You stay for the foundation. You don't ever forget where you come from. Gia. Poison. Joel O'Tease. Shit, life, life, is, life is all right. Um, I'm having trouble with the women. Because none of them can hack this shit. It's hard. No quality time. Uh, you're on the road, sure you're not fucking. So you know, genuine girls that genuinely like me, it ain't in and out because of this. And um, that shit ain't fun because all of like how niggas say they be on tour, all fucking and everything. If you busy and you got a five and record, you don't have time. Yeah, yeah. You're lying. You got radio interviews when you wake up. You got fucking studio. You got uh, fucking studio. You got beat niggas want to come play beats. You got fucking uh, David Letterman. If you, you know what I mean, like you got yeah. your fucking itinerary is crazy. So you know you're not boning like that. You know what I'm saying like I'm in my twenties. I played enough. Mm -hmm. I want you know. I mean I'm looking for a lady. So I'm throwing a contest on internet. Nah. <laughs> I was gonna say you see that lady. You see that lady. You got a shot right now. Nah. You got to get with emails. Nah. <laughs> You gotta get my spot under my space. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just chilling, but that shit gets frustrating. That's, that's that shit. Everybody wants that shit. You can act like you don't. You want that shit. You want to come home or something. Yeah. It's like, yo, baby. Detroit was crazy. Mm -hmm. you, do, you do a big record or something big happens, you want to call that one Of first. course. You want to look off and when I'm fucking holding up a Grammy, because I will. Mm. When I'm holding up a Grammy, I want to fucking say that look, again. You know what I'm saying? I want <laughs> to look. I want to be like, yo, I'm taking my wife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to be like, damn, who's going to, who am I bringing to Grammy? That shit is kind of wild. You know what I'm saying? After a while, I was just like, oh, okay, dress her up. She looks good. Bring it to the Grammy. Mm. Now I want some substance. You know what I'm saying? I want a backbone in you could be like, I want to thank that guy who interviewed me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That dude really. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy in the club pouring six for me. Both our friends looking for us, but we history. Another night, another thick shorty. But see that magic that we had? Got my mind playing tricks on me. Cause after um, at the same time, man, you know, I'm a part of a, a four man group called Salt House. We're doing dope shows and working on the album and stuff like that. Well, I have not forgotten that I'm Joel O.T. You know, I, 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 um, I bring my element to that group. And when I step outside of the group, my element is still remain. But you heard some records, like yeah. my album is in crack. Yeah. That's Joel O.T. Slaughterhouse is a whole different entity. It would, Slaughterhouse would not hurt Joel O.T. It would just get more talks around it. Right. I mean, I, you know what I mean? Like, I, I look forward to fucking having uh, a Joel O.T. show and then a Slaughterhouse show. And yeah. then a mix of both. Or a Slaughterhouse record playing and then a Joel O.T. record. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I separate them. With love, you understand? Man. I love, I love what I do as a solo artist. I'm in love making a. That's my first fucking group. Does anybody that know Joel Mars is off the hook, but y'all don't play no game. So it's like Joel, <laughs> get your ass upstairs, boy. Fuck <laughs> his ass. Give my boy a shout out, man. You doing your motherfucking thing? Well, tease the truth, man. They know all the way, all the way. All the way. Yo, let me shout my nigga Quickie the truth. Y'all know what it is, Joel Ortiz. I love him. I'm, I'm a 
separated, but it will not hinder me or stop me from going with Joel Ortiz. Like, my plan is I'm, I'm trying to be that nigga. Like, I really am trying to be that nigga with that pen. Like, I want to be talked about in five, six years when them little niggas is having an argument. I want to be in an argument of, like, your top five, and I'm, I might come up in fourth. Some shit like that. So, <laughs> hopefully that motherfucking that Joel Ortiz can do something so that the, the slaughterhouse nigga can ride, they can ride my way. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got love for all of them niggas. I love for all of them niggas, man.